Hi, this is Sandy Adams with Chapter by Chapter. We're encouraging people to read a chapter of their Bible every day. Here's a 90-second summary from 1 Corinthians. This is episode 2. We hope it whets your appetite and causes you to read the whole chapter. God has maneuvered in ways that appear to us as foolish, ways that attack our pride. The cross was a stumbling block to the smart and strong. The church was a puzzle to the pious and privileged. Now in 1 Corinthians chapter 2, the courier himself employs tactics that are far from impressive. Paul's ministry didn't depend on eloquence or intelligence. In fact, he made a point of being plain. He preached Christ crucified, not himself amplified. Yet miracles flowed from this trembling little specimen of a man. It was obvious to all that Paul's power came from God. The mysteries that were hidden from the mighty are now made available to the minion through the ministry of the Holy Spirit. The mind of man cannot explore the things of God unaided. The natural man or the man living without the supernatural spirit is deaf to spiritual communiques. He's limited to a superficial understanding of spiritual truth. But the spirit can enlighten a man's mind. He enables our finite faculties to grasp infinite impulses and information. Don't think we have to turn off our intellect and enter a trance to talk to the Spirit. God has given us our minds. He wants to communicate direct. We must trust God to speak by His Spirit through the existing hardware. We have the mind of Christ.